Hello everybody, I am Krishaya, your host and host of the day. Today what we are going to make is known as rumali roti or you can call it chapati. It's like a kind of Indian chapati. It's thin, tasty and you can have it with any kind of curry or whatever. Very delicious, you find in all Indian weddings. The ingredients for our rumali roti are 1 cup maida, 1 cup wheat flour, 2 tablespoon of white dill, salt to taste, oil, and water. Now we will knead the maida, the wheat flour and everything in equal proportion. Make a dough and then we will make the roti. With the ingredients, we have kneaded the dough, taking equal proportion of maida and wheat flour. Moving on to the making part of it, we take a roll of the dough, we pat it a bit, small round shape. Then aside. We make one more of the same shape. Pat this also. Now what we do is, we put oil. We apply oil to it. And our wheat flour. We have put wheat flour to it, and now what we do is we close it like a sandwich. So, then what is it by applying wheat flour and uh, oil? It doesn't stick. And now, like a normal roti. We shape it up. We make it thin because it's Romani roti. As thin as possible. Now in between what we put is wheat flour. In case you can even put rice flour. Now put the handy thing like which you get available is easier. And then we cook it. The kabha is hot. We don't have to add oil or anything to it. Just take the Romani roti carefully. Put it. Let it cook. Once it cooks, see now we have added two layers. We turn it on, we nicely cook it. Two layers are formed after that. Now as you can see, it's separated. Arumari roti. It's like separated into two. Serving time. Now, as you can see, our Romali roti is ready. It's like transparent, you know, you can see your hand through it. This is the way a Romali roti is supposed to be. The tasting part of it now, I get the tasting. So, it's soft, tender, and tasty. It will go with any dish, anything. Awesome. Now the tip of the day for our viewers, when you make curds for setting it, if you want it to set faster for fermenting it, put it in hot water, like dip the vessel in hot water in which the curd is put and it set in a faster basis. For more tip on, log on to aussiedeshi.com. Till then, bye bye.